We're going to talk about the fish tank bed. This is an absolutely incredible piece of equipment and I want to tell you a little bit about why we have it here at Awesome before I teach you about it. So when I started looking for the different pieces of equipment that I wanted to bring into Awesome and I started looking for really pieces of equipment to help my cousin who was sick with cancer this was the first piece of equipment that I found and I saw pictures of people in Europe getting their chemotherapy under these heat domes and with this machine that wiggled their feet back and forth and I just thought holy cow what is this this is so neat and so I really started to learn about it it has been incredibly beneficial not only for people who have cancer but for people who are fighting depression um, people who have really high anxiety people who have trouble sleeping it is just an absolutely incredible piece of equipment and I, I really hope that you enjoy this now two um, different types of people cannot use it if you have epilepsy please do not use the fish machine. You can still use the infrared heat domes. Just for whatever reason, the the machine that you put your ankles in that wiggles you back and forth like a fish creates um, problems for people with epilepsy. And so we don't want to even risk that. And then if you're more than 16 weeks pregnant, doctors tell you not to lay flat on your back. And so we really don't want you to use it if you're more than 16 weeks pregnant. It's totally up to you um, on what you choose to do, but those are the two warnings. Also, please consult your physician before using this if you have any serious medical conditions. This bed is absolutely incredible with the heat and the movement, but the movement really, it gets moving. It's, it goes at a decent clip. So um, if you have hip or knee or low back problems, please make sure to use the bolster pillow if you're not allowed to walk more than a certain distance in a day, please talk to your physician about uh, this piece of equipment before you use it. Okay, so benefits of the fish tank bed, what we call the fish tank bed. Um, it ensures a maximum flow of healing energy through all of your body organs. To improve function or to restore normal function, um, to impaired organs and body systems. The fish tank bed creates balance and flow through your adrenal, lymphatic, skeletal, and circulatory systems. So let's talk about those movement equivalents. 15 minutes on the fish machine, or the machine that you put your ankles in that wiggles you back and forth like a fish, is equivalent to 90 minutes or 10,000 steps at a brisk walk and burns 225 calories. So it's not going to give you the muscle tone. It's not going to give you um, the cardiovascular benefits necessarily, but it will give you the lymphatic benefits of 10,000 steps. And, and, um, and so that's just, it's really neat. You, when you, when it stops, you feel kind of floaty. A few people have told me it feels like a runner's high. I've never had a runner's high, but I have had nitrous oxide. <laughs> and to me, it feels a little like being in the dentist chair on nitrous oxide and feeling really, really relaxed. So, um, that, that movement really gets things going in your system. It, it does affect some things. So 15 minutes on the fish, fish machine is equivalent to one hour of ma manual lymphatic drainage. So like we were talking, it's just really great. So improves health. And then um, the company defines health as daily movement, which creates oxygenation and detoxification. By oxygenating the body, it prevents more disease, bacteria, and parasites. It aids in detoxification. Without adequate daily physical movement, the lymphatic system cannot detoxify your body. The lymphatic system is activated by physical exercise. If the lymph does not circulate, then the tissues suffocate while stewing in their own acidic waste, thus causing cancer. And we have really seen a rise in cancers that start in the lymph system. A lot of breast cancers start in the lymphs in the breast. Um all kinds of different lymphatic cancers are a thing because we live such sedentary lives and this really is kind of a cheat for getting your lymphatic system moving. 
the reason I think that we have seen so many benefits with depression is because our bodies start to get kind of backed up and gummed up and we're not moving and our limbs aren't moving. And so, and then depression sets in. And so we have just seen really neat things for people who have struggled. I mean, really struggled with depression. Um, with this one piece of equipment because they're able to come in even in their pajamas and lay there and it moves them. I had one gal come up to me uh, a couple of years ago and she said, I cleaned my bathroom and filed my paperwork. And I was like, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Now her friends had kind of drug her in here and said, you need to do this. And we had really focused on, on the fish tank bed and, um, And she said, no, you don't understand. I haven't filed paperwork in like two years and I haven't cleaned my bathroom in almost a year. And she said, my energy's coming back. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling less depressed. And this was just simply by coming to awesome. And, and she really focused on using the fish tank bed twice per visit. So we would do once for 15 minutes and then do some massage and those kinds of things. It would also encourage the lymphatics. And then she came back and did it again. It was just really tremendous and really fun to see. So if you know anybody who's really fighting depression, this is an incredible piece of equipment. Um, so how often? 10 to 15 minutes, a maximum of two treatments per day, not to exceed 30 minutes total. That's what we recommend, especially starting out. Um, if you want to work up to more, you can, but that's generally enough to keep your lymphatic system really healthy and going strong. So hand position options while on the fish tank bed. Yes, there are three of them. Hands behind your neck may help with migraine headaches, sore backs, misaligned spines, bone spurs, arthritis, and gout. Um, Hands to your side may relieve muscle tension, helps with mood balancing, insomnia, constipation, and organ dysfunction. And then hands over your head may aid in weight loss, shoulder pain, muscle tension, and nerve pressure. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but the company that we get this this piece of equipment from, that's what they say to do for those different issues. So give it a try. Let us know. Best times to use this uh, piece of equipment, the fish tank bed. Before breakfast, it makes your brain mentally focused and alert. It really gets your blood moving and gets things going. So it helps the body to be energized and balanced. If you want to do it at lunchtime, that's great because you know that low, that slump that a lot of us go through, but try to make sure that you do it at least 30 minutes after eating, but preferably an hour. Um, Some people will come here, do equipment, and then eat lunch on their way back to their office so that they don't have full tummies while they're wiggling back and forth. And then after dinner, of course, you still want to wait that same 30 to 60 minutes, but it does help assist in restful sleep and natural healing because it is going to work with the body's own rhythms. So uh, what to do when the feet on the fish tank bed stop? So in order to realize the maximum benefits from this piece of therapy, you need to stay still for at least three minutes after the foot machine stops moving. So you get 40% of the machine's benefits while it's moving, but the other 60% happen after it stops moving. And so that's why we will set the wiggle for 10 minutes and the heat for 15, because then you have that extra five minutes of just total relax. And that's where you'll feel that floaty, relaxed sensation. So the rest period is the time that the increased oxygenation will seek out areas in your body that lack oxygen, replenishing your cells and muscle tissues. Sitting up quickly and moving will constrict your muscles, detracting from the full absorption capabilities of the oxygenation. Now, I have tried this. So I have laid there, done my 10 minutes, and then laid there for five and felt floaty and tingly and good and relaxed and all those things. And then I've done the 10 minutes and then popped right up and it's a whole different experience when you don't lay there for those extra few minutes. So, um, it just, you just don't feel like you got everything you needed out of it. So make sure you lay there and, and really enjoy that. So next we're going to talk about infrared heat.